Welcome back guys. So today let's do something different and I will do a review on the first episode of American Horror Story, uh, Murder House, which is the first season. And I have done a couple TV shows in the past on this channel and I'm still doing WandaVision, um, which I'm really, really digging. Um, but American Horror Story is a show that I've always wanted to see. I've just never, never took the time out of my way just to start watching it because I always think if I have something of a hobby I want to do, it's more movies than shows. And, and I was thinking to myself, man, I really need to just like watch this show because I really, really love, like I said, I love horror movies. There's so many I want to see, but there's a lot of horror shows that I haven't seen. I've barely seen any. I've seen Hannibal season one. Um, really, that's pretty much it. I think I've seen a couple other things, but I'm trying to, I can't really remember what they are. But, uh, but yeah, I think this is going to be a new thing I'm going to try to do and review uh, TV show episodes of American Horror Story. And tonight I watched episode one, the pilot of Murder House, um, first season. Now, I knew nothing about American Horror Story going into it. I knew that it was like, it was a horror show. I knew it had a lot of big names, uh, specifically Lady Gaga, which I've seen like, um, just like, through cultural osmosis, like, I've seen, like, images of her on this and, like, images of characters from this show. Um, and there's artwork of Lady Gaga with, like, the key in her mouth where it's, like, like, sticking out of both sides of her mouth hole. Um, so I know that Lady Gaga is in this. She's not in this episode. I don't know if she's in this season. I think my friend told me it's, that she's not. She comes in later, I think, in the show. But, uh, but yeah, let's get started. So... This is murder house, so it sets up that there's this house where people are getting murdered. And the thing about this is a new family moves into this house and the and the house screws with them and the people around them screw with them. And I think it does it in a very, very go great way. Um so you have Connie Britton, who's freaking awesome. I love seeing her in anything, um, as Vivian, the mother, and then you've got Dylan McDermott um as Ben. And I wrote the names down on this list of notes because there were so many characters in this first episode. But uh, Dylan McDermott has been uh, Tice of Armiga as Violet. And they're this family that move in. Um, and then everything starts going crazy. Like, immediately. Like, they move into this house. And she... Uh, you look at Violet. And Violet is, is tortured as well as Ben. And they both had things in the past that you realize through this episode. Like... Ben cheated on Violet with a 21-year-old girl, um, and then Violet had a miscarriage uh, seven months in, which is really, really hard to, for anybody who's had a miscarriage, that sounds incredibly hard to muster because that is so close to having the actual baby. Like, that is so sad. But uh, but they both have these problems, and the daughter, uh, Violet, is kind of just the teenage, basic teenage girl where, like, she really hates her parents she acts out she goes to a new school and she gets beat up at first by these girls and then she beats them up and like i like that as well and i like that this episode is only like 50 minutes long but it it is so intricately well made this first episode and and it really is making me gonna really want to watch all these episodes quicker but i think i'm gonna be slow on them because i really do want to review them all but uh well, like I said, the family moves in, weird stuff starts happening, um, Ben starts seeing the housemaid, who's really an old woman, but then she, in his eyes, is a really young and beautiful woman, and she keeps giving him mixed, like, signs to have sex with him, and he keeps trying and trying to avoid it, but it's hard for him to, like, he never does have sex with her, but, like, he almost does whenever his daughter walks in, um, and I really like that this episode felt pretty complete. Again, it's only the first episode, but it worked with the character arcs where Violet and Ben have this, all the horrible stuff. And they eventually have this fantastic scene of them both breaking down and saying like, like you weren't there for me whenever, uh, whenever you slept with that 21 year old girl. And then he's like, well, you had, you got a dog. You should have been cuddling with me like the whole time. Like, and, and the acting between all these characters in this first episode is freaking like amazing i was genuinely surprised i already knew the actors in it were really good already but man it blew me away and this episode i think is one of the best pilot episodes of a show i've ever seen it it genuinely got me in every way um 
but that's about but that's it, it with the family um and then you realize in the end that uh vivian's pregnant because her and ben have sex at the end so that's pretty cool but it's also a a bad forewarning because ben starts to hear voices and meets a guy that had heard voices in the house and burned the house down or tried to and he got half a space deformed so y you've got all these things being set up for horrible horror that's going to happen, I, I'm assuming, in the next couple episodes. Um, so yeah, you got the family. Um, you also have Evan Peters as Tate. Um, and it's funny to, to talk about Evan Peters because WandaVision. Um, and I feel like that's not as much of a spoiler now because it's been a couple weeks since they revealed that he's in this show. But, um, but Evan Peters is in this and he is scary and really, really intimidating. He's this teenage kid who says to Ben, who's a psychiatrist, like he's killed people. And you, you never really get the full idea if he completely has because you don't see it. But then you see at the end, whenever he and Violet, who kind of form a connection, they bring in the boat one of the bully girls and scare her to death in the basement of this house which the basement is where the murder suicide happened beforehand so you've got tate being this crazy psychotic kid and ben is trying to tell tell everybody like this kid is crazy like i'm afraid he's dangerous and nobody believes him and i thought that was really well done and i liked seeing evan peters as a horrifying character like he was scary and he was psychotic in only this first episode there wasn't it's so f interesting that he's barely in the episode like he's in it probably an amount of like 10 minutes out of 50 minutes but good god like i'm surprised that they give so much for all these characters especially him just how immediately you you immediately the the writing is so great in the show you immediately understand every character's motivation um, everything creepy about them, everything effective about them. Um, it works so well. But I also have to mention Jessica Lange um, as Constance. And Jessica Lange, I always have loved. And even whenever she's in a bad movie or a movie where her performance is weird, like in King Kong 1976, where like that was her role or like it almost tanked her career for good, um, which I'm so glad it didn't, even though I do enjoy King Kong 76. It's so weird with her in the role, like the mo like I don't think it's her fault. I don't understand why the movie was so weird with her performance. Like I don't get what they were telling her to do. But anyways, watching her in this specific episode of this show, um, this is probably one of the best performances I've ever seen of her. This <laughs> this is so good with her. Look, she's like this almost Southern Belle, or not Southern Belle, like Virginian. Uh, type of woman who is very it's weird she's she's very outspoken and very like outgoing to Vivian because she just walks in the house and meets Vivian because her daughter Adelaide just uh walks in who Adelaide is the def is the uh gr is the little girl in the beginning and then she's the the older girl in the future in the current time in this episode who has a mental disability um I don't know if it's down syndrome but it's it's some kind of mental disability but uh but her daughter Adelaide gets in the house and Vivian's like why are you in here and then Constance Jessica Lane comes in and kind of sweet talks her way out of getting her daughter out of it um but then Constance is this character that Jessica Lang plays so well where it's this character who and this is only the first episode like I said but it it works so well where this character is this outgoing character but there's a weird undertone with her like you can tell she's dangerous you can tell there's something wrong with her you can tell there's something wrong with this character um and even at the end she says to the maid like don't make me kill you again which i know nothing about the show or anything afterwards so i'm like what does that mean does that mean they can be they're immortal or they can be reincarnated like constance and the maid that's very weird i don't know what what to think of that but also the maid, I also think I mentioned with Ben, whenever she, you, whenever Ben sees the maid, the maid is a young, attractive woman. And then in everybody else, Vivian sees the maid as an older woman. And she is an older woman, but then Ben sees her as a younger woman. So I thought that was a really cool idea for a horror too. Like just the idea of like one person sees a person one way and the other person sees the, a person another way. I think that's a really cool idea. 
I really thought that as well. It was really awesome. Um, uh, Mora, Mo Moira is the housekeeper. Um, and so those are all the characters. And again, there's a lot of characters in this first episode. Like I was genuinely surprised how many there were. Um, really, seriously, like there were so many different characters and there are so many fantastic actors just in this one. And I know that the show is going to have in different seasons, different actors like i know kathy bates is in later seasons um which i i love kathy bates as well it's gonna be awesome to see but uh the the set of actors that they have in this episode alone is genuinely awesome they they really surprised me and what and it's weird they surprised me but they're all great actors anyways like the big ones that i mentioned um like connie Britton and jessica lang and dylan mcdermott like i know that these are great actors and they've got great roles i've seen them in but man they just blow it out of the park in this first episode. Like I said, this is one of the best pilot episodes I've ever seen. Um, so I really, really love that as well. Um, I thought that this was just a great opening episode. Like I said, I know nothing about the show, so we're going to see where it goes. But I think I'm excited to talk about the rest of it. So that is it for episode one of Murder House. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.